Welcome back, my name is Emery. This channel is dedicated to helping you get better at backpacking. And today we're talking about the Bergara Mountain Rifle 2.0 from obviously Bergara. I have been looking for a backpacking rifle for a very long time uh, for backpack hunting. Probably years at this point. Prior to this, I've been using like a, a .30-06 from the 1980s. It's actually quite light, believe it or not, but it's kind of getting weathered. It's, in fact, it's really getting weathered and really, really beat up. And I wanna keep it around. It's kind of like, you know, heirloom, not heirloom, but it just means a lot to me. My dad bought it for me. Uh, I've hunted with it all my life and it's just really important. So it's getting beat up. I wanna replace it with something more modern and I wanted it to be uh, friendly for backpack hunting in the Pacific Northwest. I went to work doing research on all the different rifles that are out there. Browning makes one, Kimber makes one. You know all the brands. If you're watching this video, you've looked at all of them. And I could I, I could just never find, I, I'd go to the store and I'd pick them up and I'd put them up to my, like a Christensen, I'd put it up to my shoulder and I'm like, I guess it feels pretty good. And rifles are so personal anyhow that it's really hard to tell. I thought, I was like, well, you know, maybe the Browning X Bolt Hell's Canyon. Uh, that's kind of six and a half pounds or so. That seems light, it's super durable which I really liked, but I, I just didn't like the, um, I just didn't like the look of it. I guess it looked a little too mm, hunter-like, like it's got the camo, it's just too much magoo. So I keep looking, keep looking, and a buddy of mine tells me about Bergara, I look them up, he tells me about the mountain rifle, and I was like, whoa, what the heck is this thing? So I reach out and I ask them if they'd wanna come on the podcast and talk about features of a mountain mountain rifle, which they did. It was an amazing episode that I will link down below. Anyhow, I start learning about the Mountain Rifle 2.0 and I'm in love with it. So here it is. This is the Bergara Mountain Rifle 2.0. Let's talk about what I was looking for in a mountain rifle before we go into this one because it basically meets all of the above. I wanted a lightweight rifle. So when it comes to backpack hunting, everything's in, you know, you gotta have, you gotta play the game of weight. You know, I picked up the Kimber Mountain Rifles or the, the I can't remember which one it is, but it was like five and a half pounds. It felt like a BB gun in my hand. It was a little too light. And I also didn't want a really heavy rifle. And what I found by picking up all these rifles is a rifle that lands in like the six to six and a half pound range, that seems to feel really good. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. Probably with an optic, you're at around seven pounds. The Bergara Mountain Rifle is about six and a half pounds, regardless of the caliber you get, which I think is a really well-balanced rifle weight. Number two, a Cerakote finish on the barrel. Back to my 1980s, uh, 30-06 from Remington. The barrel is beat to hell. The mountain rifle has a Cerakoted finish, which means it's weather sealed. It's super durable. No rusting, no nothing like that. This rifle is built for bad weather. Uh, the Browning has a Cerakote finish. The Export Export Hell's Canyon has a Cerakote finish, which again was why I was attracted to it. The Cerakote finish is awesome on this rifle. And then aside from that, a, a really comfortable stock this is a carbon fiber stock, so it's super light. It feels really, really good. It's not too fat, it's not too thin. In fact, I think I know why I like this rifle so much, and that is because it feels like my Remington from the 1980s. I put them side by side, the stock was almost identical, which is probably why I lean towards this rifle amongst all the others. Um, aside from that, it's got a really nice trigger on it, if you're into triggers. It's got a, you pop your rounds out the bottom of this thing. So my Remington from the 1980s, you just have to pull them out. You have to rack the bolt and rack the bolt to get the, the bolts out, which I don't really like doing. And it's got an, it just has a nice feel to it. So really what I was looking for in a rifle was a Cerakote finish at a good weight and a good feel. And that's what I got in the Mountain Rifle 2.0. Now, all of you gun nerds will probably have all kinds of questions and all kinds of things to add to this rifle. And I'm probably oversimplifying it, but here's where I'm coming from. Backpacking gear and hunting gear should just be simple. And we all have our preferences. We all have our, we all like to nerd out about different stuff. But for me, I just like stuff that works and feels good and meets all of the needs. And the Bergara Mountain Rifle 2.0 does exactly that. Lastly, the thing that I was looking for was 
a rifle that spoke to me on a personal level. Of all the other rifles that I looked at and held, none of them really had much character to them in my humble opinion. And if I'm gonna spend that kind of money on a rifle, a firearm, it better be something that I'm attracted to. When I saw the Bergara Mountain, Mountain Rifle 2.0, I was like, wow, okay. So it's got a little bit of camo on it. As you can see, it's got it's got like this camo texture on it. But then as you get closer to it, it's got that carbon fiber, it's got that carbon fiber stock, right? So it's like this black and gray sponge camo paint job to where you can see that it's a carbon fiber stock. So it's modern, but it has this like throwback to like hunting, right? So a carbon fiber look really really doesn't do anything for me. A full camo look, it's just too, too camo. I feel like this rifle is a modern version of the rifle that I've been hunting with all of my life and that's why I like it. In terms of accuracy and what it does at the range, look, the bottom line is if you know how to shoot a modern rifle at this point in the game, if it's being sold in stores, it's gonna shoot really well. At 100 yards, without hardly any practicing, and you know, with a few rounds through it, I was putting uh, bullets within an inch of each other. Um, a couple of them were touching. So the rifle shoots really, really well. Again, I think any rifle off the shelf these days does that job. But the thing that I think makes this rifle over the top is that it's a custom built rifle. So it's that next echelon up. It's like mass produced custom rifle, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I really love this rifle. It's lightweight, it's durable, built for the mountains. It looks great in the mountains, by the way. Uh, and I really, really love it. And I look forward to having this rifle for a lot of years to come. This happens to be a 270. They don't make this version. This is, I don't know if this is a one-off or they had it and then they, they stopped making it, but they make a lot of great uh, mountain rifle rounds, all the modern ones. It's really nice. I think that covers it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. I'll try to answer all of your questions if I can. If not, I'll pass you over to the Bergara guys. And by the way, Bergara is a really, really cool brand. Uh, they have a really cool backstory that we talk about in the podcast. Again, check out that episode because it's it's really, really good. They do a lot of great things for vets. They employ a lot of vets at their Atlanta shop. And then they have a full factory overseas in Bergara, Spain. Again, it's a whole story. It's super, super cool. And I suggest you look into this brand because they are up and coming and they've made a huge splash in the industry. But yeah, anyhow, I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know. If you're new to backpacking, uh, even if you're backpack hunting or whatever kind of backpacking you're doing, I have a backpacking course. The links are in the description to that. I think that covers it. If you're headed out on an adventure anytime soon, be safe, especially if you're going backpack hunting. We'll see you next time.